Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the next step of making a mug. So here's my example of my mug that was hand built. Um, right now we have this um, kind of tube part of it made. And in this video I'm going to show you how to make the bottom and attach it. So what you will need is your clay tunnel that has your pop can inside of it with paper towel around it. You'll need some extra clay. Hopefully you'll have some extra from this. You might not. Okay. You'll need some slip. You'll, you'll either need a fork or a needle tool and you'll need a rolling pin. I'm going to just move some stuff out of the way so I have some more work room. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your extra clay and kind of form it into a, um, a little chunk that's sort of all stuck together. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can really, you can make it into a ball in your hand if you really want it to be super smooth. Um, but if you just have a few cracks and um, crevices, it's fine. So there's my little chunk of clay, or little pancake. I also forgot you'll need your ruler guides. So basically we're making another slab, but this slab is going to be relatively smaller than the last one you probably made for your little tube or tunnel of clay that's wrapped around your pop can. So again the guides are underneath your rolling pin so it's about the same thickness throughout the whole thing. You could also turn it a different direction to uh, um, make it wider. Okay, so I think that slab's pretty good. It's about the same thickness all the way across. That's good. Okay, so I won't need my rulers anymore, and I won't need my rolling pin. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take your pop can, and you're going to put it on your slab, or your tunnel clay, not your pop can. Okay, it should fit on that clay. So if your slab is not big enough, you need to get some more clay and make it wider. Okay, then you're going to take your uh, needle tool and cut around it so it's the same shape as the bottom of your um, clay tunnel or tube. And it's okay if it's not perfect, as long as you have it wide enough that it'll fit on the bottom. So it kind of got stuck to the bottom, that's okay because I can just peel it right off. So now I got my bottom of my mug made. Now I just need to attach it. So just like when we were fixing the edge right here, we're going to take our needle tool or your fork, whatever one you like to use, and you're going to make a lot of grooves on the bottom. I think that's good enough. You're going to do the same thing to the bottom of your mug, but you just need to go around the edge, the outside edge of this sort of circle, circular shape. Mine's more like an oval, but that's okay. Then you're going to take your slip and put the slip in the grooves. And again, you can use a brush if you're worried about getting dirty. But clay is just dirty altogether, so you're probably going to get clay on you whether or not you want it to. 
Okay, and you're gonna plop the bottom down. I did something wrong. When you do this, and I and I didn't think about it until now, you want the bottom of your can to be on the bottom side. You want to have that opening on the top. Hopefully mine will go okay, but I'm just going to push this all the way to the bottom so there's some sort of support. Okay, and then you're just squishing this down. You might squeeze out some slip, but that's okay. And then you're smoothing it. Um, if it wiggles, that means you did not use enough pressure to join those pieces. And you don't want the bottom of your mug to pop off. So I say that looks okay. It's not perfect, but it'll do. If you want, while the can's still inside, you could take a rubber rib and you could smooth out the edges of this. Sometimes when clay dries out, it's just easier to work with. Right now when it's still super wet, it um, can be harder because every time you touch it, you make a little bump and then you're taking forever to get those bumps out and then you're just cutting away at the clay. So sometimes it's just better to just let it dry a little bit and then work on it after it's dry. Drier, I should say, not completely dry. Okay. So now that I have that bottom on, what you should do, which I won't be doing, is you'll stick your hand in the opening of the pop can and just pull the pop can out. My pop can, since it's upside down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my clay mug over and I'm going to take a noodle tool and I'm going to poke through the bottom. You should hit your pop can. Now I hit it. And I'm going to be quiet so you can kind of hear it. You could just push that pop can right out. If you did this correctly and you had that paper towel in there, this should slide right out really easily. And it kind of got caught on that paper towel, so it pulled my paper towel out. So now I have the basic, basic form of my mug. I have the glass portion. What you can do next is you could take a modeling tool, uh, preferably a long one like this, and you could smooth out the edges on the inside of your mug if you really want it to be smooth. It's just a lot harder because it's narrow. And that's how you make the basic form of your um, mug. After you get this point, you could use molds, like say you want to use this one, and you could press it into the clay and make different textures. That one didn't work very well. Let me pick a different one. You could add stuff onto it. Uh, you just want to maintain this circular form if that's what you want your mug to be like. Um, if you don't want it like that, you could tap your mug against the table to make flat sides. Um, just be careful because if you flip this over like that, that whole side is going to turn flat. And then you're going to have to reshape everything and it's harder once you do that. Okay, um, in another video I'm going to show you how to attach a handle onto your um, mug. When you attach a handle, your clay must be a little drier so it stays. So it might be in a couple days from now when I actually uh, attach my handle because this clay is super wet. Okay, I hope your mugs look awesome.